What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This one is a little bit of a, a revolutionary video because I've seen uh, there's some opportunities to be had in uh, the user end experience uh, and how we can grow user end adoption in the, uh, in the industry. And essentially what I want to advocate for is a, a way for, to, to encourage people to decentralize themselves, okay? Right now, everybody's using centralized services, you know, your Twitters and your Facebooks and what have you. Well, there are just as good alternatives right now in the space, uh, such as Partico on Steemit. There is uh, Mines. I'm not sure how decentralized that one is, though. Um, there's uh, Murmur, of course, on the EOS platform. So there's... There's, a, there's a quite a few out there. I've been playing with them over the last few months and uh, the user end experience is just fine. Very easy to decentralize oneself in the social media space, of course. When it comes to VPNs, you've got Mysterium now, which is actually doing rather well in comparison. I've also been testing it a little bit, okay? There's, there's not so much choice when it comes to what country you want to come from. Um, but of course, it does the encryption and masks your IP and what have you as a standard. So what I've noticed about these models is they're using the carrot and not the stick, okay? So essentially what they're doing is they're rewarding people for sharing content. Uh, this is nothing new, okay? People get paid to share content all the time. You know, I'll, I'll pump your shitcoin if you pay me enough using this uh, content, of course, this content machine. So I start to believe that actually you know rewards or the carrot that's not that's not going to cut it it's not cutting it if you look at any of the numbers across any of the blockchain platforms and the dApps out there the decentralized applications you're uh, seeing very very slow user growth if any and this is understandable to a certain extent because they're just not known about these services however with the recent, you know, news and Cambridge Analytica stuff with Facebook, you know, it's very clear that our data, you, your data, my data, your data, it's being harvested and uh, bought and sold. It's, it's got a value, only we're not sharing in that uh, value. So we don't really own our data. And of course this year, or perhaps it was last year, uh, data surpassed oil as the most valuable commodity on earth. So why wouldn't one try to decentralize themselves, okay? Well, so far, like I highlighted, the carrot is not working. So how do, how do we create some buzz from those people that are not necessarily aware of how important it is to decentralize oneself, okay? And we could try using the stick or a mix of the carrot and the stick, of course. You know, you don't need to just use one or the other. So you can think of the stick as like um, FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt, and the carrot as like FOMO, like fear of missing out, okay? Um, maybe you could think of them like that. I don't know how, how well that analogy actually works. Now I said it out loud, but um, what might it look like if we began to use the stick? Well, the stick is a problem for the user, so they have to address it. They simply cannot ignore it because it keeps hitting them, okay, around the head. So do you need a, uh, a prolonged campaign of constantly hitting people over the head, telling them that their data is being harvested and that they're missing a great opportunity to monetize their data, depending on how valuable, valuable it is, I guess, and also the business model of the decentralized platform, if it is so. Uh, and whether or not that's uh, beneficial or inviting enough for the, for the end user, I don't know. So I've started a hashtag, you might have seen it around, it's called Decentralize Me Too. And essentially I want to try to tap in to the end user, okay? Specifically, I'm um, specifically interested in social media because that's where so much data is, uh, is uh, harvested from billions of people across the world. So if you want to join me, just start using the decentralized hashtag, decentralized me too, you know, two O's on the end, in case you didn't, didn't realize. And uh, 
let's start trying to get this ball rolling. And if, you, if, you, if you're out there and you want to collaborate on this campaign with me, just hit me up. You can uh, leave a comment or you know, send me an email. And uh, let's, let's try and do this thing together because until we get end user buy-in for these decentralized services uh, at scale, nothing's gonna change. And people will just keep on keeping on and passing their data out there to people that don't necessarily have their best wishes in mind. I've been Bitman360. This was some sort of uh, call to action type video. So if you wanna join me, you know what to do. And I'll see you next week.